I got a few more saddles made up in stock and ready to ship out. And the ones here that I am packaging up are standard sizes. Uh, they got wing guards, some don't, some have ruffle, and some don't. Um, there's a bunch of different styles and pattern to them. I also got a few more larger sizes in stock too. I just didn't get them on video. And this is my last label, so I'm going to have to make some more. And this is going to be pretty boring, so let's talk about saddles. And I'm going to use Tweedledee as an example. As you can see here, she is going through a hard molt. And her pin feathers are getting plucked out. So everybody's picking at her. So my best option is to either separate her from the flock or put a saddle on her. So I chose to put a saddle on her. And I put a ruffle saddle on her because I know the ruffle is a little bit longer and it would cover her tail a pretty good amount. My saddles are not made with the elastic that goes around the wing to hold the saddle on. Mine are made with fleece and I believe they are more comfortable underneath the wing, especially if they're going through a molt. And here I'm just showing you where she is getting some more growth in and her pin feathers are getting a little bit longer. So the saddle is not interrupting her feather growth at all. They're pretty comfortable and lightweight and pretty fashionable, if I might add. And this is Tweedledee after her feather growth has come back in and I took the saddle off and she's looking so gorgeous. Okay, back to the saddles. I do make them for as small as a quail, sarama, and I have made them for turkeys. All I need is a measurement from the bird you want me to make a saddle for and my expertise, of course. So you can use a tape measure, as Mel is here with Polly. But it is a good idea if uh, they're a little bit more steel for you to measure. You can also use a yardstick. And I use the fabric tape measures. They're a little bit more easier to work with because you can bend them and move them whichever way you want to. And I keep one just for my flock. That way I'm not contaminating anything. Measure from the base of the neck to the base of the tail. Um, usually right at the old land is where you want to measure to. So from the base of the neck to the old land. All my fabric is not online. I am a fabric hoarder and I have a problem. At least my husband thinks I have a problem. I don't have a problem. Uh, so what you would do is send me a request form on the website saying, Hey, can you do this saddle this size in something like this? And you don't have to fill out the form on the website. Um, you can send me shh, you can send me a message on Facebook or Instagram. It, just whatever you prefer. I don't care. It doesn't matter. As long as we have a communication. And then I would take my knowledge and find out all the sources and try to track down fabric that you want. If you want giraffes, I don't have giraffes. If you want giraffes, I will look up giraffes. I will find giraffes. Because we want the birds to look pretty and be protected at the same time. 